It is possible. I can bounce back from adversity and reinvest my life. It's possible. It is not over until I win. I can do it, it is possible. Feed your faith and your doubts will starve to death. It is possible. Even when you have no evidence to point to, it is possible. Accept responsibility for your life. Know that it is you who will get you where you want to go, no one else. If you set goals and go after them with all the determination you can muster, your gifts will take you places that will amaze you. It's possible that you can live your dreams. Don't stop, don't stop running toward your dreams. In order to do something you have never done, you have got to become someone you have never been. I think that all of us have great potential within us. But greatness is a choice, it is not our destiny. And in the pursuit of our dreams we are introduced to trials, failures, and disappointments. Which take us to the door of discovery and greatness. I advise you to say your dreams is possible and then overcome all inconveniences, ignore all the hassles and take a running leap through them, even if it inflames. I don't know what you are up against, I don't know what you are facing. But here is what I do know, you have got something special, you have got greatness in you. And I know it is possible that you can live your dream. Any active sportman has to be very focused, you have got to be in the right frame of mind. If your energy is diverted in various directions, you do not achieve the results. I need to know when to switch on and switch off, and the rest of the things happen around that. Cricket is in the foreground, the rest is in the background. Life is full of disappointments, failures, and setbacks. None of those things can permanently stop you. You have the power in you to overcome anything that life throws at you. There is nothing as powerful as a made-up mind. Surround yourself with people who remind you that you matter, and support you in the ways that matter most to you. No person, situation, or circumstance can define who you are. Don't give up, cave in, or stop believing that it is possible, it is not over until you win. Regardless of what challenge you are facing right now, know that it has not come to stick. It has come to pass. During these times, do what you can with what you have, and ask for help if needed. Most importantly never surrender. Put things in perspective. Take ways to replenish your energy, strengthen your faith, and fortify yourself from the inside out. If you want a thing bad enough go out and fight for it. Work day and night for it. Give up your time, your peace, your sleep for it. If all that you dream and scheme is about it and life seems useless and worthless without it. If you gladly sweat for it and fret for it and plan for it and lose all your terror of the opposition for it. If you simply go after that thing that you want with all of your capacity, strength and tenacity, faith, hope, confidence and strength for tenacity. Poverty, famish, or doubt, sickness, or pain of body and brain can keep you away from the thing that you want. If dodged and grim you beseech and beset it. With the help of God, you will get it. When you are single-minded, you are one-dimensional. Your mind becomes narrower and narrower and narrower, and remains focused on one point. This is concentration. Meditation means the mind has stopped. Just you are, pure consciousness, simple awareness, all the dimensions are available to you. So it is just the opposite of concentration. Concentration, itself, is nothing but a matter of control of the attention. Learn to fix your attention on a given subject, at will, for whatever length of time you choose, and you will have learned the secret passageway to power and plenty. This is concentration. Concentration is a power when all impossible thing easily achieved. Meditation is a strongest way to complete and pure alignment and great satisfaction of inner soul. Be concentrate and meditate mind after this there is no need of support.